today we're looking at this G Galfi M2 dash cam, three channel dash cam. Also known as three channel dash cam, front and rear, inside, 1080p dash camera for cars, dash cam, three way, triple car camera with. Uh, we've never had a dash cam before. We're going to try this out and see what it looks like, see how it works. It's a uh, three channels, meaning it films out the front of the car and the back of the car and the passenger. So if something happens, you can get it from all different angles. It does not come with the with the uh, SD card, and it recommends not using the SanDisk Ultra. And that's just to happen. We're going to try it with the SanDisk Ultra and see what happens. So go ahead and open it up. Let's see. You probably got to. Okay. So we have user manual. Okay. Warranty card. Let's get down to the camera. There's the camera. Let me get the uh, ruler. There's the SD card slot. Let's see uh, how big that is. Hold it, hold it back up there. Let's get out our Garfield ruler here. So that's about gives you a yeah, suction cup mount. Okay. <coughs> oh, sound like you're getting a little sick. Yeah, what's in there? Um, Some adhesive things to hold the wire in place. That's a it. rear camera. Yeah, the rear camera. It's like a cigarette lighter adapter for the car. Please insert the class 10 SD card, blah, 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 blah. We have some adhesive and some screws. Yeah, there's the SD card. Where, where'd it go? We lost it. Oh, there it is. All right, let's we see. Got the rear camera. Comes the this is the driver right. facing camera. Oh, it says, okay, 64 uh, gigs max. That's interesting. The rear camera, which I guess goes into this little like a uh, quarter inch headphone jack and it's got a got a pretty uh pretty significant bundle of cable to uh, run that up we got one cord that's clearly designed for running in the car it's a cigarette lighter cord then we've got this data cable type thing and there is something on the uh website that says do not use this for uh do not use this cable for power but we're going to ignore that and see what happens for different cameras on different files. Yeah, and then they recommend VLC, and then they have this viewport of the inside video, the rear, and the front. Huh. All right, we're going to violate two rules. We're going to use a non-recommended SD card, and we're going to use a power brick just for testing it. This is the Sony, I don't know how many amps it is, that came with the camera we're recording this on. And then we're going to just power it up, and see what happens. Hold that up. Okay, we get something. We got something. Oh, cool, look. Look, I see... Please format the card. Then, now remember, this does not have a touch screen, so I think you just hit OK. Try hitting that button. No, that must be something else. Oh, that's View. All right, what's the OK button? Maybe it's one of these buttons. OK. OK. Maybe. Formatting. OK, so we're formatting the SD card. And we're recording. Now we've got a view of something. There, there we are, yeah. That's that view. All right, oh, I, OK, I, assembly of the selection mount. Assembly the selection mount and stick it to your windshield. Okay, so. Combine the dash cam with the suction mount. The first time you put it on, it would be tight. Don't worry. Just push it to right. There we go. That's how it works. Okay. So, oh, I guess it needs to go that way. All right, so. So we're going to stick that on the windshield, and then when we turn this, that sort of sucks the middle in, so it sucks the air out. Now that does the front camera. The rear camera, I mean, it's got that little, I guess you stick it on there with some of this ad adhesive stuff, but and you got to run this wire. So they recommended, uh, the manual recommends mounting it to the right, which works out great because you can't really see it when driving because it's behind the rear view mirror. I just started initially there. And on the back, I just sort of tape this camera up because I'm not about to drill holes in my car for a $80 dash cam just yet. Here's kind of our first footage just out of the box. So throughout the rest of this video, we're just going to be showing some different samples and a comment on the camera in various situations, day and night, different cameras. It's also worth noting the front camera is 1080p. So what you're seeing now is 1080p footage. The other cameras are 720p. So if you're watching this on a computer at 4K, this is stretched. When I show the multi-screen, I will put them back to their uh, sort of native pixel resolutions. So here's all the cameras. Now what's cool about this camera, it produces three sets of files and they're in a d each a different folder for channel one, two, and three. Not really blown away by the quality here, but again, it was it was uh, inexpensive. Uh, you picked this out. How'd you how'd you find this? I saw it on Amazon. It was it had okay reviews, and 
the quality was okay. So you know, yeah, so I think it'd be fine for insurance photos. It is very sensitive to lighting conditions. When we turn right here, look inside, notice how the sun shifts and the light, the contrast changes inside the car. Yeah, and the, the rear obviously is going through that. I'm curve. just laughing at the faces over. Well, yeah. The I, emojis. I, if I'm going to be a YouTube star, it's not going to be on the dash cam. We Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any, anyway, I'm not thrilled with the quality from a pure quality perspective, but that is not why this camera exists. I'm not using it to make beautiful videos. I'm using it, you know, for like an insurance record. So I got to keep that in mind when criticizing the quality. Uh, that said, you know, what is the distance from which you can read a license plate? Notice as we pull up here to this uh, four-way stop, the cars in front of me, there's a very little distance in which the license plate becomes actually readable. Now I did go back and freeze frame and blow it up and I can make out the license plate of the car in front of me, but the other one is blurry. So maybe that's important. Uh, maybe not. If you're in an accident, you're going to be close to the person in front of you. Let's look at night and it's not, you know, much better at night either. Uh, now you might be thinking, okay, well, it's got a microphone. I'll just yell the license plate number if I can see it and go back and all that'll be on the tape. Well, that brings us to the subject of sound quality. is traveling more than say 10 miles an hour sound quality is distorted unusable and then when you are stopped you can kind of make out voices but they're very muffled it sounds like everybody else is having with whatever they're getting having to do second round of, of antibiotics oh, wait, i don't think you're going to have any problems capturing crashes or you know yelling at a stop sign but just moving down the street it was just a loud okay. mess Let's talk about the way this thing works in the car. Basically, it uses the 12 volt cigarette lighter power to control automatic recording. So let's say we get in the car and we start it. That's gonna be the same thing as applying power to this thing and you'll see what happens. So notice it comes on and it's already recording. So that's good. All right, so then you get, go to where you're going, you pull the, turn the car off, unapplies power and it says, Power off in five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one, power off. So if you can hook it up to the power in your car and you don't have to ever touch these things, it's it will sort of run uh, in the background by itself, which is what you want in a dash cam. You don't want to have to sit there fiddling with it. But there's no there's no magic here. There's no fancy sensors or anything like that. There's no GPS. It's just a very uh, budget dash cam. So you've got menu navigation with arrows and okay so you press the menu there's actually two menus there's a video settings menu press again to go to the system settings menu and go back so video settings system settings back to the main screen now once you're in one of these menus you use the up and down arrows and each menu does have more than one page so and then you hit okay to go into that setting so let's say for example I want to go into the sound recording menu. Go in there, hit OK. I can change my settings and hit OK, or I can hit menu to go back. So once you get the basic rules, it's pretty easy to navigate. A couple things I changed in the system menu. One is the frequency. We noticed a lot of flicker on certain he headlights and taillights. Uh, you know, if either you know their, I guess their their LED bulbs or whatever were flickering at the at a a rate that was faster than this thing could keep up with. So I went into this menu, it defaults to 50 hertz, change that to 60 hertz. Another thing I changed was the loop recording. So as it comes from the factory, it's gonna, it's going to uh, loop recording, which I guess means every time it generates a new file, it's one minute, which is fine for, and it generates a bunch of small files, but I'm gonna up that to like, maybe three minutes just to, so I don't get so many files. So now here's some night vision footage. Uh, my mounting method of the painter's tape on the rear camera had started to fail by the end of the day. <laughs> but, uh, and also the light seems very overexposed, very blown out here. Here we made a trip to Smoothie King. 
Inside the cab, it does have some night vision LEDs. I don't know. This is this doesn't have that infrared look, and I didn't see any little night vision LEDs around the forward-facing camera. But I, I guess it's still showing color, so I guess this doesn't have night vision, or either it's using the car's headlights. I, I don't know. But anyway, this this is, gives you an idea of the picture quality. Anyway, I'll speed this up or whatever. Anything okay, we're going to Smoothie King. Yeah. We're going to come out on the left store as soon as Dad leaves. Yeah. Hmm. Do, do, do. <sighs> Before we wrap up this video, let's show what it looks like compared to like a your phone or like an HD camera. Let's do that, and then we'll call this video done. How about that? Okay.